Hey everybody, it's your girl Tennessee Nora. Yeah, I'm here with a video. Now I know I'm a little behind on them, but please bear with me. I'm getting there. You know, I had all them problems. We're not going to go over that again, but you know. So, today I'm going to make Mr. and me just a little dinner. I'm going to make some stuffed cabbage rolls. Sweet stuffed cabbage rolls. And um, I'm saying it at the beginning of the video. Don't come at me and say, Tennessee, no, that, that's not the way you make ten cabbage roll. That's not the way you make mature house. But this is the way Tennessee, no, look behind me, I told you. It's my house. I'm the one got to eat it. So this is the way I'm going to make mine. And I'm not telling you to change your recipe, because that's your recipe, and I'm sure it is delicious. But guess what? This Tennessee North recipe in Tennessee North is the one got to eat it. So I don't want you to change anything about yours. Please, and you don't have to take mine. I'm just showing you what I'm eating. That's it. I'm not telling anybody, um, you know, make yours this way and put this in it. No, I'm not. I'm telling you how I'm going to eat mine and what I'm going to eat with mine. So, um, I told you at the beginning. I'm not a cook. I'm not a chef. I'm a cook. That's it. I'm just an everyday cook. I cook what me and my family is going to eat. And I just turn the camera on and show you what I'm doing. I'm not trying to influence anybody to cook like me or season like me or do any of that. Yeah. I want you to eat yours the way you like it. I'm just showing you how Tennessee North eat hers. So, yeah. So today is a stuffed sweet cabbage roll. Yeah. Um, I mean, when I was a kid, my mom used to make stuffed cabbage rolls all the time. And they were delish. Okay, I'm not my mom. So I can't make hers like she did it. I'm just going to give you my version. So yeah. And on top of that, I'm going to make me some corn pones. Out of this. My mother had one of these. Whatever happened to it, I don't know. So, I was at a yard sale, and while I had talked about it, and the ne very next day, that was on a Friday, and the very next day, I went to a yard sale around the corner from my house, and she had this. It's cast iron. And she only charged me a dollar for it. I said, oh, yeah, I'll take that. So I'm gonna make me some corn pones. Yeah. So, that's what's for dinner for me and Mr. So, let me show you. All right. Onion. Green pepper. And a cabbage head. I'm going to boil some water, and I'm going to drop this cabbage in there and blanch it. Yeah, I'm going to drop the whole cabbage in because I plan on cooking the rest of it. But I'm going to drop it in, blanch it, so I can pour me off some leaves to wrap my, you know, yeah, to wrap my stuff up in it. So, I'm going to cut up a little green pepper. I already told you, ain't nobody gonna eat it but me in the mess. So, yeah. And since I'm not doing a whole lot, I'm not gonna bring out the chopper. I'm just doing it by hand. <clears throat> and I also got some cooked rice, leftover rice. Yeah. I got my ground beef cooking. Over here on the stove browning. I'm just going to rough chop these green peppers. I told you, I like to crunch 
this won't be crunchy. But I like pieces big enough for me to taste. I don't want to mush up and I can't see it. I want to be able to see it as well as taste it. So I like mine in kind of a, you know, medium size to small pieces. Not, not top chop. I can't. If you chop it up, you just, uh, you don't really get the, you know, the full shebang of it. Like so. And I like a lot of green peppers. Green peppers and cabbage go well together. So I'm going to chop up. I already had that green pepper cut. You know, I don't waste anything. So I went on and cut it up first. And then I just got another one out and cut it in half. So almost a whole green pepper, depending on what size you get. And I got a half an onion here. I'm going to use that. And I'm just going to go across here. Chop it up a little bit. Just some kind of rough chop through here. Like so. Let me check my uh, ground beef. Okay, ground beef is doing wonderful. I'm going to cut this half an onion up. It's a good size onion. But it's half of it, because I've already used the other half. So I'm going to cut this up. Same way. No kind of uniform style, just kind of rough cut. I'm going to go across it like this. Do some of these bigger pieces, kind of rough cut. Everybody knows Tennessee North love onions. Yeah. And green peppers. That flavor, I'm telling you, does something to your food. And I'm gonna cook these down. These are gonna be translucent. So they're not gonna be crunchy, but you are gonna be able to taste them. I feel my allergies gonna start cutting up. That's okay. I got new allergy medicine today. Got a checkup. Good. Yeah. Um, blood pressure? Good. Other than the, you know, the normal aches and pains, not too bad for an old, I mean, excuse me, a young 60 year old. Mm -mm. So. And that's my onions. Yeah, it seems like a lot. I like it like that. Oh, and they smell so good. So I'm going to put them on the plate. I'm 
with the green peppers. And I'm finna take them over to the stove. Okay, I got my ground beef drained. Got my green peppers and onions in there. I'm gonna add some salt to it. Black pepper. Some Italian seasoning. some thyme this is thyme right here a little rosemary Garlic powder. Onion powder. I'm going to add a little garden herb to it. Garden herb. I don't know if you can see it or not. And over here, I got a pot of water waiting on it to boil. I'm going to add a little salt to this. This is what I'm going to drop my cabbage head in. Into this mixture, I'm going to add some roasted diced tomatoes. With garlic in it. And here, I'm going to add a tablespoon of tomato paste.
And now I'm going to add just a little tomato sauce. It don't matter what tomato sauce you use. No brands, you can just use any. Let me let that simmer a little bit. I'm going to put a top on it and I'll be right back. Okay. Now, I've scooped out the majority of my mixture. Now I'm going to go in with my tomato sauce. Put it down on low. Let me get a tea. A measuring spoon cup. Okay, into this mixture, I'm going to add some brown sugar. That's right, brown sugar. A half a cup of brown sugar is going in there. Work that up in there. <clears throat> and I got my water boiling here. Now I'm going to put my cabbage head in here. Now I got salt in that water already. You want to take the core out of your cabbage so it'd be easy to peel. Just kind of let it roll around in there. So I got this right here. Let me taste. Put it to where I want it to be. Oh. Perfect. Hold my head around in this water. Hold on. Okay. So now you gotta. Your leaves will come off like that. So when you take that core out of there, you can easily, the leaves are easily come off. Like so. Well, you kind of get the idea. You just kind of Okay. All right. So I've already started some of my leaves. So you want to cut 
that hard part out. You know, just kind of V-shape it out a little bit. Let me show you. Because you don't want that hard part in there. Because it's hard to roll with that. Just like you don't want it when you cook a cabbage because who wants to eat that? Like so. Yeah, just cut that hard part out. I've already went on done some. Try to speed up the time. Don't want to hold you long. I want to get this in the oven. Now I got my oven preheated to 350. I don't want to just cook it fast, but I don't want to cook it real slow because I'm using cooked rice. Yeah. Here's my sauce. Here's my meat mixture. Yeah, I cook mine first because that's the way I want to do it. So. Here's my rice. So, I'm going to add one egg in my rice. Yeah. So, I'm going to break my rice up a little bit. And I cook this rice maybe... Maybe two, two days ago. I'm going to take some of this out. It's going to be too full. Oh. And break the egg up in here. And this is just a binder. Just help it to hold together. You don't need that much rice, but I had that rice left over. Because I had rice for breakfast. That was on the video y'all didn't get to see. So I'm gonna, you just want to mix your egg up in here real good. Then I'm going to take my meat mixture. That's with my green peppers, onions, and everything in. And I'm going to mix it with this rice. Now, you can put some cheese over top of yours or not. When mine come out, I'm going to sprinkle a little cheese on it. Let it melt. Don't have to run it back in the oven. I'm just let it sit on top. Yeah. Okay, that's my mixture. Okay. So. Here's my Pyrex bowl. And I'm going to and I'm going to take some of my sauce and I'm going to put it down in the bottom. Yeah, this is how I like to do mine. Like a little bed underneath it.
like so. So now, I'm going to take my cabbage leaf. It's going to take more than one cabbage leaf to roll it up. So I kind of make mine like that. Then I lay one like that. Like so. Yeah. So you kind of, you got to kind of place them a little bit. Kind of, this is the way I do mine. <clears throat> so don't come say, oh, no, no. This is the way Tennessee North do hers. So I kind of layer mine like that. Yeah. Now, I'm going to take my spoon. Let's see if you can get a shot of this. Take my spoon. I'm going to pop it in the middle. Now, I'm not going to put a toothpick in this one. I'm just going to roll them and lay them in my sauce. So, I want to roll over this way and try to get them sides up. I'm just going to roll. Put in my sauce. Like so. Same way. I'm probably only going to do maybe about four of these. Yeah, I think I might be able to get about four. I tell you, this is me and the Mister's meal. The rest of them is not going to eat it. Like so. You don't want it too stiff because you want to be able to roll them. Roll it together. Come in with this side right here. And I'm going to roll. Make a little bed like that. And maybe we get five. Depending on how we do. Oh, I think I just might get five in here. We'll see. And this make sure is also good for stuffed peppers. Oh yeah, we're gonna get number five in there. We certainly are. Gonna get a fifth one in there. That's enough mixture to make me a step bell pepper tomorrow. Yeah. Put it in the freezer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's enough for a pepper. Yeah, I like to clean my mess up as I go. Okay, and there's our stuffed cabbage. Now I'm going to take this mixture, my sauce, and I'm going to pour my sauce on top of it.
And that's the way that's going in the oven. Now I'm going to cover mine for about maybe 15 minutes with some foil. And then I'm going to take it out and let it cook the rest of the way. It's not going to take very long. This is probably about 35. Just do it to get good and hot again. Yeah. Okay, let's work on our cornbread. Corn pones. Say. I'm going to put two eggs in here. This is self-rising cornmeal. And even though it's self-rising, I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of baking powder to it. I know. Don't need it, but guess what? I'm going to put it in there anyway. Just because I want to. And... And put a little sugar in it. Okay. Add some melted butter in here. I'm using whole milk. Now I want this batter kind of thick. I don't want it thin. I want it pourable but not, not thin. Look thicker than pancake batter. And I'm going to spoon this into that. Give it a spray with some vegetable oil. Okay. Now I'm going to spoon this in here. Every time I turn the camera on, somebody walks through. But they don't want to be seen. And there we have it. I'm going to put these in the oven and take our foil off our uh, cabbage rolls and we'll see. Okay. Look at my stuffed cabbage. Woo it's out. And I'm going to throw some handful of cheese on top of it. Now I'm going to put it back in the oven. Just going to sprinkle it over and let it sit.
just like that uncovered I'm gonna let it sit there for about maybe I don't know 10 15 minutes we'll see and I also got my cornbread out yeah look at that so what I'm gonna do is rub some butter over top of it like so yeah so let me get this plated up okay we've gotten it out can you see that on cabbage roll corn pones yeah cornbread sliced tomato and onions get another good look at that oh, doesn't that look good Mm hmm. So, let's speak to the Lord about this one. And you see, hadn't had one in a while. I thought it'd be fitting. Let's see. Amen. And amen. So, yeah, coin pong. So, Let's see what we're working with here. Oh, yeah. Ooh. You let that cheese just sit there? You ain't got to run back in the oven. Mm -mm. Sweet cabbage rolls. You taste those green peppers in there? Ooh. Green pepper and cabbage go together. Yeah. Oh, man. The green pepper and onions just jumping through the... Mm. Now Italian season. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. It's not over sweet because you got the Acidity from that tomato. Mm, 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 mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No bite. Look at that steam coming off of it. Cornbread goes good with cabbage too. Mm-hmm. Butter with corn pone. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. And the cheese is good on it. Okay. 
cabbage is wonderful. I love cabbage. Mm -hmm. The corn bread is getting buttery too. Mm -hmm. The stuff in the inside is wonderful. The rice, the bell peppers, onion. Now let the herb season it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tomato and onion. Them roasted tomatoes. Oh. Mm. Mm. Put that thing over the top. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Excuse me if I'm, you know, eating too fast or something. It's my lunch and dinner. That's my breakfast too. This is my first meal. Mm. No wonder I'm hungry. Make you some stuffed cabbage. Something different, you know? You can put that same stuff in, in a pepper. You don't have to put nothing that Tennessee Nor put in hers. Put what you like in yours. Yeah. It's a good meal of the week meal. My mother used to make the cabbage casserole. She cleaned out the refrigerator. And she had some leftover cabbage. She cleaned the refrigerator out, mix all of it together. Oh my goodness. Pop it with some bread crumbs and some cheese. Oh my word. <laughs> It would never be the same because the, con the casserole consists of whatever she had in the refrigerator. The cabbage would be the main component. But the rest would be whatever was left over at that time. Grandson brought that to me. Mm. Nice and strong. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah.
excuse me. Whew. Now this cabbage roll, it reminds me a lot of my childhood. Because it was something my mom used to do. She had her own recipe. That's Tennessee North recipe. And, um, so, I find myself re referring back to my mother. Yeah. Because my mom... I always like to experiment on different things, you know. She tests something out and we eat it. I was like, wow, that was good. Okay, then that's a winner. She just how she came up with her own recipes. And that's how I come up with mine. I do a lot of things like my mom. And they now veer off. Yeah. Um and two chef. She may make something like Nana, then she's gonna veer off and do her own thing. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to get one of Sue Chef's meals. I pray the Lord let me stay and see her grown to um, do that. Yeah. So, um, and I'm getting ready for my new grandson. Um, doing his baby shower uh, this Saturday, the 20th. And, um, yeah, I'm doing fingers, finger food. Um, uh, I think, um, oh, excuse me, give everybody a break on the heavy stuff. So, we're, gonna, oh, we're just going to do the finger stuff. And um, I think I told y'all once before, one of my YouTube subscribers is my daughter's mother-in-law. Yeah. So, very, very nice person. Um, yeah, we all family now. And um, I really like her a lot. Miss Melinda. Yeah, and her son is very good for my daughter. And... Um, yeah. She tells me my daughter is very good for her son. So, um, didn't know that at first that um, she was watching me. But I want to thank her for her support. And, um, yeah. So, find out she's a, a, we got a lot in common. She loves the yard sale and thrift stores. And, oh, yeah. And here it is, our due season. So, yeah, uh, my car will come to a stop if it's still sign. You know, wait a minute, you already tell sign. That's how well I love it. Um, I might not buy anything, but I want to look. Yeah, my mother was a big yard sale, thrift store type thing. She'll tell you in a minute. She says, "Oh, I might not buy anything, but I want to look." Somebody's junk is another person's treasure. And, um, yeah, you'd be surprised at the interesting things you see in a yard sale. I'm pretty sure I got enough stuff here to have a yard sale of my own. But, um, yeah, so, and uh, we're having some really beautiful days. Yeah. So, <clears throat> and my daughter, um, has let me know that she's found another, well, she's working on another supplier for the shirt and the apron. Um, yeah, it's a long story about the other one. And, um, yeah. So, I'm not gonna drag y'all on this video. Um, Mother's Day is coming up. Spend some time with somebody's mother. Even if it's not yours. Yeah. Tell somebody's mother you love them. Love on them. Yeah. I miss mine something terrible. But she's always in my heart. So not just, I don't just think about her on Mother's Day. I think about her every day. 
And if your mother's still living, love on her. It's better to love on her now and give her her flowers. Because it's mighty lonesome without them. They've always been in her heart. But I miss putting my arms around her. Yeah. See you on my next video. Like, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about me. Leave me a comment if you like anything about the video. Anything, good or bad. Hit the notification button so you know the next time Old Tennessee North comes with a video. And you know I got another one. And another one. And hopefully another one. Bye now.